Good morning, everybody. Hello, my name is Tony, and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program here on the North Shore. And today we have an hour of chair yoga together. So make sure that whatever chair you're on, it's comfortable and stable. If there are any wheels on your chair, please consider locking them. And make sure you have a little bit of space around you so you won't be bumping yourself as we move. Today's class is focused on finding patterns of tension in our body and creating ease where we find tension. So coming to a comfortable place where you would like to start. And of course, you're always welcome to sit into the back of your chair for support if that helps you. Otherwise, coming forward on your chair, even a millimeter or so forward can help us start to build up strength throughout the center of our body. Feed it around a comfortable distance and that'll be different for each of us. This is your program. So whatever it is that I'm guiding may not be right for you. So if something doesn't feel right or you're not quite sure, take it easy or sit it out. Maybe even just imagine moving and see how that feels and then start off really small. And the way that we can tell that our body is kind of comfortable with what we're doing is that we keep a steady breath. So we're going to get into the breath to start with. This is your time to practice. So make sure that you give yourself permission to listen to your own intuition and to what your body is telling you. Just because I'm guiding something doesn't necessarily mean that it's right for your body or right for you today. So listen to me a little bit of the time, but mostly listen to yourself. Judge whether something feels good for you. And if you're not quite sure, you can even simply imagine the movement in your body first and then see how that feels. Start off really small. Always take breaks when you need to. And if, again, something doesn't feel right to you, go ahead and do a movement that feels comfortable in your body or simply focus on your breath and join us at the next movement. So we'll root down through those feet. You can pick the toes up or the balls of the feet. You can even wiggle those toes if you like and take the feet all the way down to the floor. You can practice lifting up those heels, anything that's gonna bring your awareness from your mind all the way down to the soles of your feet. Rooting down through the feet, rooting down through your seat too. And again, wiggling from side to side, you may even notice as you do that, the two sit bones underneath you. Those are the two kind of bony bits that are really deeply seated into the chair. I'm gonna sit really sturdily into those sit bones. So everything from the pelvis downwards feels like it's rooting downwards towards that support underneath us. From there, there's a lifting up through the spine just a little, as if we could find a little bit of space between each vertebrae. Shoulders soft and away from the ears as much as possible. Collarbones wide, so we're spreading the collarbones wide without jamming anything back. And then consider whether you want to bring your shoulders forward or back. Maybe consider drawing the shoulders more or less over the hips and see how that feels. Again, everything has to feel sustainable in your body. Even as we're building up strength, it's best to do it slowly rather than try and force our body to do something that it's not quite ready to do. All that happens is the body reacts by contracting and um, instead of being in a place that the body feels comfortable and gradually working up to something. So we're rooting to rise. When you're ready, you take a full breath in. On that exhale, imagine the exhale could bring ease into your body and start to soften. And then a few big breaths like that if it feels comfortable. Mm -hmm. You can even close your eyes or lower your gaze. And after the next exhale, just let the breath come back to its natural rhythm, your rhythm. It'll be 
slightly different for each of us. And then just dip inside with your awareness and notice how you feel today. Notice what's on your mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. Notice how your physical body feels. And really pay attention to places of tension. So notice places in your body that you feel are a little tight, a little tense. Offer yourself anything that you can to ease even 1% of that tension, shifting and micro adjusting your body. And that's what we'll be doing all of the session today is to tune in and notice where we habitually hold tension and start to offer some softness to those areas. And a great way to do that is with the breath. So let's establish a breath and then we can use the breath for softening. So maybe breathing in and out through your nose if you haven't already. And if that's not comfortable for you, no big deal. It just settles the nervous system a little quicker. So starting to breathe in and out in a regular pace. And there's no right or wrong way to breathe. You've been doing this all of your life. You don't have to match anybody's rhythm. You don't even have to match your own breath that it was last week or yesterday. And just taking the more mindful breaths. I consider the inhale as just a little bit more effort as we're literally taking in air. And the exhale is an opportunity to find softness, to find ease. So there's this balance even in the breath, this effort and ease. So consider how much effort you're bringing into that inhale and match the exhale with just the same amount of ease. You might even notice how every exhale you can feel that your body may want to soften. So we have these steady inhales and exhales, this effort on the inhale, just a little effort, and every exhale is a release of that effort as the breath is left. So even with every breath, we can find this, this duality between effort and ease. And we're going to find that within our movements of yoga. Tune in once again to tension in your body. It doesn't matter where it is. And I'm going to invite you on that inhale. You can go ahead close your eyes or soften your gaze. Imagine that you could take your inhale to that exact place where you feel tension, like, uh, um, like a flashlight, like a, your breath, like a flashlight, taking it to that one position, that one location in your body. And on the exhale, imagine that exhale softening the whole area as the breath releases. You can do that as many times as you like in one particular area of tension, or you can take your awareness to another area of tension if you have one, and use the breath, the exhale, to melt like candle wax that tightness that you may find. It's a great tool for throughout the day, any time that you're finding tension, but we're going to practice it today in class. So when you're ready, we'll root through your feet in your seat. We'll lift from there. We'll take a full breath in. Effort, ease, release. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that right arm down, dangle it, allow those joints to be kind of soft. 
And then on an inhale, we're going to draw the shoulder up towards the right ear. Exhale, take that shoulder down. And you're working with your breath length, not mine. You don't have to match anybody else's. This is about your breath. Inhaling. Exhaling, finding that softness. And if there are places within the movement that feel less smooth than others, that's just completely normal. So we do our best. And consider doing a little less and seeing how that feels in your shoulder. If you lose the breath at any point, that mindful effort and ease, and you find yourself holding the breath or the breath getting halting, then do a little less movement and come back to the breath. Option to add on here on that inhale, right ear comes towards the right shoulder, and on the exhale, we're drawing the right ear away from the shoulder, inhaling and exhaling. Now it's going to be fairly obvious through sensations of your body if you're asking a little bit too much of your neck and shoulder. And so if you're finding tension build up, do less effort and ease with the breath. And again, when the body feels comfortable and the breath is easy, then the body naturally starts to open up the connective tissues, the muscles. And if we push a little bit too much, then all that happens is everything starts to get a little bit tighter. Everything starts to contract. You've got another two here. Last one. Coming back up to center. Any softness you need in that right shoulder to soften tension, go ahead. And the right hand comes back to support. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. Come back to that effort and ease that steady breath. Left arm comes down nice and soft in the joints. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Give yourself permission to move easily and gently. Stay away from the stories as to why things might be challenging in particular locations in your body and just working and moving with your body today instead of moving and working against it. If you want to add on, just like the other side, that inhale, left ear towards the left shoulder, exhale, left ear away from the left shoulder. And that's going to make it a little bit more intense. So if that's not something you want to do in your body, then no big deal. Stay at a place where, again, effort and ease. You can find some kind of ease on that exhale to match the inhale. Mm -hmm. Always resting whenever you need to. Another two here. And when you're ready, right hand comes down to support. Our left hand comes down to support. Right hand coming out. Inhale, palm up. Exhale, palm turns down. Your breath length, not mine, can stay here or start to move from the shoulder. Effort and ease. If it feels comfortable for you, you can start to reach those right fingertips towards the left. You can always support yourself with the left hand on your chair or the chair leg. Joints can be easy, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers and thumbs. If it feels okay to you, you can start to reach a little further through those fingertips. Working again with your body. Effort and ease. Option for the next three breaths is to pulse or stay with those right fingertips over towards the right or over towards the left. Tension in your body, soften it. 
use the breath, whether it's tension to ease things or adjust in your body to make things more comfortable. One more breath, more or less. And when you're ready on that exhale, that right hand comes all the way down, back to support. Left hand coming down, palm out from the elbow, inhaling up, exhaling down. Option to stay here, option to move from the shoulder. Just as much effort meeting the ease of the exhale. Option to take those fingertips overhead. You can, of course, support yourself on your chair or the chair leg. If you naturally find that you're pushing a little bit too much and there's tension building up, can that tension be eased with the exhale? And if that's the case and the breath is steady, then great. But if the tension continues to build and you can't ease it on the exhale, then maybe consider doing less. Next three, keep in movement or option to take those left fingers towards the right and stay. Three breaths. Where do you feel tension in your body? Allow some ease to come into it or use the breath to that location Inhaling to that location, exhaling, softening like melted butter. Last breath here. And when you're ready on that exhale, left hand comes down and the hand comes back to support. Easing through the shoulders, one direction, and shoulder rolls in the other direction. Anything else you need to soften tension before we start coming down into the spine. Sitting maybe forward in your chair so you're not using the back of the chair for support for seated cat and cow. Hands on your lap. On the inhale, the heart comes forward, elbows come back. And on the exhale, fingertips forward, belly comes towards the spine. So we've got an arch in the back on the inhale and on the exhale, we're rounded. Extension on the inhale flexion on the exhale and again noticing effort and ease and it might be that that exhale feels a little bit more like tension in your body but can you match the breath that effort and ease in the breath with the movements Adding on, lifting the chin on the inhale, exhale, chin towards the chest. On that inhale, if you are lifting the chin, consider lifting the entire head up so the neck is lengthened rather than the back of the skull coming towards the top of the shoulders. So we get length rather than compression. And you can use the lower back a little more by on that exhale, pushing into the feet and rounding. Belly button comes in towards the spine and we roll onto the back of the pelvis somewhat. And on the inhale, imagine dragging your heels back towards your chair and sending your tailbone out behind you. Effort and ease. And if you need to rest at any point, then please go ahead two more. Mm -hmm. And we're coming back up to center. Mm -hmm. From there, I'm going to take those arms out wide, palms towards me. If this is a lot, you can take your hands on or towards those shoulders. It really doesn't matter. But we're rooting to rise. On the inhale, keeping the spine straight um, reaching up towards the sky. On the inhale, we're taking the elbows back and on the exhale, we're drawing the elbows forward. So wherever you are, whether you're in cactus, we're drawing the elbows forward, palms come towards you, or those fingertips are on or towards those shoulders. Inhaling and exhaling. 
Now what we like to do on that inhale is jut the front ribs forward, so try and keep the spine neutral. And on the exhale, we like to draw the belly in towards the spine to get kind of that rounding across the back. See if you can keep the spine as neutral as possible. Effort and ease. Notice if all you're doing is building tension, what can you do to find softness in the movement? Maybe adjusting or adapting the movement to your body. We've got two more here. From here, I'm going to take those arms up into a cactus if they're not already there. If this is the inhale, exhale, I'm just going to turn those palms down kind of like a scarecrow. Inhaling up, exhaling down. And once again, noticing where you find the ease in this movement and where it's more challenging for you. And if you're matching that challenge with the ease. And it may be in different parts of the breath cycle that you find um, more effort and more ease. But see if you can use the breath to soften any tension. You've got two more here, or resting your choice. Steady and smooth. Mm -hmm. Hands come down when you're ready, as if you've got big mason jars there. We're gonna open and close those mason jars from the shoulder joints, not just from the wrists, to find a little less tension up in the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Coming back to neutral, coming into um, a twist. So we're going to take our, um, we're going to heel toe our legs all the way over to the right side of our chair. And if this is not something that's comfortable for you, you can of course take any kind of twist that feels comfortable for you. Otherwise, coming to the side of your chair. And it may be that you sit forward on your chair so you get a little bit more rooting through the feet, whatever's comfortable for you, go ahead. Rooting to rise, effort and ease with the breath. I'm going to take that right hand either to the back of the chair here or even you can slide it to the other side of the seat depending on the range of motion in your shoulder or you can take it to the back of the chair up here whatever's more comfortable for you we're going to take the left arm over onto the right leg or to the back of the chair so across the body on the inhale we lift up so find that space in the spine and on the exhale, we're twisting towards the back of the chair. Inhaling, rooting to rise, exhaling, twisting. Now you'll notice pretty quickly, if you're using your hands as a lot of leverage to bring you round, you may find that you're building more tension than you can ease with the breath. So again, more is not better here. We're just working with the breath. Excellent place to stay, pulsing in and out. For the next three, if you would like to, the next time you twist, option to stay. If you're using your hands a lot as leverage, hovering the hands anywhere you want to and steadying the breath, rooting, to rise, and the exhale is an opportunity to soften or deepen the twist. More or less, one more breath. And then on an inhale, we're coming all the way out. From here, taking that right hand onto the back of your chair, we're gonna sit off with the left sit bone, off the chair. And again, if this is not for you, if it feels unstable, then please focus on your breath, take another movement, practice anything you've done so far, and then meet us after this move. Rooting through your feet and through the right sit bone, steadying through the pelvis to allow that to happen. 
and lifting on the inhale. Excellent place to be right here. And this is a great balance. Focusing the gaze somewhere at eye height, that'll help you with balance. And to add on, we're taking that left leg back. Toes tucked or on the top of your foot, depending on what's comfortable for you. And feel free to have a blanket or a pillow underneath that foot if it feels more comfortable. The further back that foot is, the more you're opening up the, through the front of the left hip. So you get to decide how much or how little feels comfortable for you. Keeping the pelvis as neutral as possible. So we're neither tipped forward nor tucking the tail. Imagine the tailbone actually rooting down towards the earth. And that'll be a little different for each of us because we're all put together completely differently. Inhaling and exhaling. And if you're here and you're finding the strain here in the front of the left hip, please do a little less. So we're not simply building tension. We do have that effort, but we have the opportunity for ease too. So if that means backing off, please go ahead. If that means that you have, once you're there, the body starts to open up, if you can take the foot back a little more, that's your choice. Inhaling and exhaling. Option to take that left arm up towards the sky, cactus the arm so you can take the arm up as wide or as close together towards your ear as you like. And if balance is not a challenge for you here, then you're welcome to take the right arm up too. So we're in a supported lunge. And the breath is steady. Effort and ease. Three breaths here. Make sure that on that exhale, you can feel a softening happening through the body. So we're not simply just building tension. On that exhale, we're taking the hands down, the left leg comes to the back of the left thigh, and we're drawing it forward. Sitting back onto the chair, take a breath here, effort, ease on that exhale. Uh -huh. And then from there, we're coming round to the front. Again, take a breath in. Exhale it out, and we're coming to the other side. So taking the feet over all the way to the left and adjusting yourself forward or back on your chair, making sure that you feel stable with the feet and with the seat. Feet are around a comfortable distance for you. Left hand can be on the back, of the top of the chair, the side of the chair, depending on the kind of chair you're on, or depending on the range of motion in that left shoulder, maybe that left hand comes back behind you. And that really just depends on the range of motion, but also the length of your bones. Right hand comes over onto the left thigh, great place to be. Inhaling, we lift up. Exhaling, you can twist from here. If, again, depending on the length of your bones and your range of motion, that right hand can come over onto the back of the chair, same thing, inhaling, lifting, exhaling, twisting. Inhaling and exhaling. Effort and ease. So notice if you're pushing yourself a lot that you aren't able to find ease in the body to match the effort of the movement. Option to hover the hands. Option to stay, last three breaths. Maybe gazing over that back shoulder. Effort and ease. Steady and smooth breaths. Staying for one last breath here. And when you're ready, we're coming all the way back to center after that twist. 
Left hand on the back of that chair. And maybe this is where you stay. Or scooting off towards the front of your chair so the right sit bone is off. And this is a great balance place just being here. Setting your gaze somewhere about eye height and steadying the breath, effort and ease. This may be enough. If you want to add on, that right knee drops down. Toes tucked or untucked, and again, you're welcome to softness underneath the top of the foot. The further back that leg comes, the more opening you're going to get in the front of the right hip. And one is like, it's not better as her. More is not better here. We're working with our body. So if you're forcing that leg back and all you're getting is a whole lot of tension in the front of that right hip, what's actually happening is everything's contracting to protect your body. So stay at a place where it feels more easeful for you. And you can balance the tension with the softness. Positioning the pelvis so you're neither tipping forward neither tucking your tailbone. So it's kind of somewhere in between. And we're rooting down through both feet and through that left sit bone. Great place to be right here. Focus on the breath, effort, and ease. And always adjusting things for your body. If you want to add on, up comes the right arm as wide or as close together towards your ear as you like, and this is a great place to be, holding on to the back of the chair with the left arm. If you feel stable here, option to bring the left arm up, palms face each other, and again, widen the arms to soften the shoulders, and we're here for three breaths. Effort and ease. Steady and smooth. Last breath, more or less. On that exhale, the left hand comes down to support you, and the right hand supports the right leg as it comes forward. Sitting onto the full seat of your chair, take a breath. And then we're coming back to center when you're ready. Anything you need here to ease in your body, find ease, go ahead. And then from here, we're taking the feet a little wider. The more you sit back in your chair, the more support you have, so you get to decide here what feels comfortable. Hands on the top of those legs, rooting, feet in seat, to rise through the upper body, through the crown of the head. And then we're gonna roll through those ribs. And there might be some areas, I know there are in my body, that as you roll through the ribs, it's more challenging than others. So, once again, effort and ease. So we're not just building tension all the time. There's some places here that will feel easier than others. This is a controlled motion, so no momentum here. And keep the breath. And keep the breath in that steady rhythm, your rhythm. And then we'll take that round in the opposite direction when you're ready. And although we're controlling everything, this is an opportunity to really tune into places that have been holding tension and find some ease there. Another two. And coming back to center when you're ready. Readjusting yourself so you feel stable here. Right hand comes to right leg, and we're rolling the shoulders back and down and widening across those collarbones. Come back to the steady breath. Inhale, just a little effort. Exhale, find the ease. Notice if there's tension that's built in your body, 
so far and see if you can offer yourself some softness. You might not even notice that you've been holding some of your muscles a little tighter than normal. So give yourself the opportunity to find ease. With that in mind, you can stay here or this is the inhale, right hand on the right leg, we're coming over to the right. Inhaling to center, exhaling over to the right. Keeping those collarbones wide so we're not taking that um, left shoulder down, it really is coming to the side. You're using that right hand for support. Option to stay here, option to come over to the right and stay. Using your hand for support or depending again on the length of bones, what's comfortable in your body, you could take the forearm down to that right thigh. If that's the case, palm turns up, that opens up through the right shoulder, and then draw the left shoulder back. Using the right forearm to root down through the right leg or the right hand, shift your ribs a little to the left. Mm -hmm. Belly draws in just enough, but the breath is steady. So we're not sucking in the belly and holding the breath, the breath is always easeful effort and ease. Notice where you're holding tension here and see if you can do something to soften that, any kind of adjustments to accommodate for your body, even if that's changing up anything. Left arm adding on comes out from the elbow. We're inhaling up, exhaling down. We've already been here today. Adding on from the shoulder. Again, as if you're moving through honey, keep those joints easy, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers and thumbs. Notice already where you're holding tension if you are and see if you can soften that or take a break for a few breaths. Option to start to reach through those joints a little more and you may notice that you're finding with that a little more length through the left side option to stay here. Option, next time those fingertips come overhead, we're staying. Where do you find tension? Can you do anything to find ease? If staying here feels enough, then please stay. If you want to hover that right forearm or hand, check that out. If you want to lift that um, hand up to meet your left, Stay wherever you are, but find some ease here by adjusting things for you, whether you come up a little further or take your arms out a little wider. I realize this is longer than three breaths. Let's take one last breath here. And on that exhale, right arm comes down. Inhale all the way up. Again, any softness you need. And that kind of the call in your body to move something means that you've been um, holding something and there's tension that has been building up. So find some ease there in your own way. Readjust your foundation, your feet and your seat if you need to as we come to the other side. Left hand on the left thigh. This is the inhale on the exhale. We're coming down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. And this side may feel very different so, no stories, just notice and working with your body. Option to stay here, option to come to the side and stay. Forearm can come down, again, depending on what's comfortable in your body. No right and wrong. If the forearm's down, palm comes up to open up through that left shoulder and the right shoulder rolls down. This is a great place to stay. Finding where it is you're holding tension here and seeing if you can create some ease. If you want to add on, use the hand or forearm to roll the ribs towards the right. Belly draws in and this kind of creates that corset of muscles around our trunk to activate. Right palm up from the elbow, inhaling up, exhaling down. Noticing if that right shoulder is rolling forward. See if you can 
roll it towards the back of the chair, any amount. Option to move from the shoulder. Moving as if through honey, easy joints. Again, if this is not right for your body or adding the arm adds tension, do less. Option to reach through those fingertips. Notice how that feels. And option to take those right fingertips over to the left and stay. Rooting down to rise through the crown of the head and the fingertips if the fingertips are lifting. Option to consider hovering that left forearm or hand. And if that's sustainable for you and you can keep that effort and ease in the breath, option to take the left hand up to join it as wide accommodate for your body. Rooting to rise, we've got another few breaths here, steady and smooth. On that next exhale, left hand or forearm comes down, and on the inhale, we're coming all the way up to center. Any adjustments you need in your body, go ahead. And then we're taking the legs back into center. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. Another couple of breaths just like that. And then from there, before we come down to the floor, for those of you who would like to, I'm going to sit back into the chair. You can use the back of the chair if you want to. And take those hands into um, prayer position, just palms towards each other, or you can interlace the hands if you like. And we're going to start to use a figure of eight in the wrists. Allow those elbows to come out to start with. Allow the movement to be as fluid as you can possibly make it. And then the more those elbows draw into the ribs, the more the movement has to come from the wrist. So notice those particular areas that it feels super um, tense, effort and ease. So if you're only building tension, do less with the movement option to stay here in this direction, option to change up the figure of eight into the opposite direction. And that may feel less smooth. Mm -hmm. And from here, releasing those fingers. We're going to take those wrists around in a circle and keep kind of really soft fists here. And then if you want to, you can take those fists a little tighter, depending on how your joints feel. But again, effort and ease, are you only building tension? If that's so, then do a little less. So let's take that around in the opposite direction. Tighter fists to start with if you would like to. And then start to ease off. Nice. We're gonna take those um, hands, if we're kind of laying our palms on a table, and all we're gonna do is keeping those hands and thumbs um, as if we're laying them on a table, we're just going to shift the wrists from side to side. As if you're sliding them along a countertop. And you might notice that one way feels a little more challenging than the other. Keep the breath easy. And notice if you're, I know I do, twisting your wrists to get a little more range of motion in and see if you can, you can even take a look at them and notice if you can just keep them as flat as possible. And it might make a difference if you take those thumbs wide or together, that's going to change up the range of motion for you. Nice. And from there, I'm going to shake those hands out. So we're going to ball them up into fists, your pressure. Um, so you can decide that's the exhale on the inhale and sparkle those fingers out. Exhale. 
Inhale. Mm -hmm. Effort and ease. As much or as little as you need in your hands and wrists. Nicely done. Big breath in. Exhale out. Mm -hmm. And from here, for those of you who would like to, you can start to get down onto the floor and I'll meet you there. For those of you who want to stay in your chair, you can do exactly the same range of motion in your chair. So from here, I'm just gonna go through quickly what we're gonna be doing, but I'm gonna be guiding it from the floor. So we're gonna be starting on one foot and cycling in one direction. I'm gonna cycle in the opposite direction. And then we're gonna take that leg out, flex and extend through the foot. And then option is to bend and extend. Coming back to center and taking a twist of your choice before we come to relaxation. So I'm gonna meet everybody else down on the floor, whether you stay seated or in the chair, that's your choice. Here we are on the floor, and I'm gonna take myself all the way down onto my back. And again, I've already shown you, if you want to stay in the chair, what you need to do. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor, readjust yourself. And of course, take any added, added softness underneath either pillow underneath your head or underneath your body if that feels more comfortable. And from here, I'm going to take that right leg in. Give that ankle a little flex and extend. And then from here, arms come down by the side of your hips or next to your chair if you want to, or arms on a cactus or T. From there, the little flex in the right ankle, we're gonna start to cycle, inhaling and exhaling. Effort and ease. So let's start with small circles that are controlled and that left foot is gonna help you on the floor to control the movement. Option to allow that movement to become bigger. But again, not if it just simply builds tension. I'm trying to keep as much ease as there is effort. And there's going to be times when the leg is further away from your torso that it's more challenging than others. If you want to add on, then next time your knee comes back, you can hop at that left foot and do the same thing. And this will be more challenging. You've got another three in this direction, whether the left foot is on the floor or up. If you want to rest, please do. Last one here. And then both feet come down to the floor. Going in the opposite direction. Right knee draws in. And we're taking the opposite direction. Cycling in the opposite direction. It'll probably feel a little awkward. As big or as small as you'd like. And this might feel a little more challenging in this direction. So if you don't do as much as the other direction, that's great. Focusing on the breath and the smooth movements. Option to stay here. Option to lift that left foot up. So we're a little more challenged. Effort and ease. You have another three more in this direction or resting. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Take a breath. 
effort and ease. Nice. And from here, if you're in the chair, then take that hand behind the knee or at the thighs and you're going to extend and flex through that leg. On the floor, just simply bending and extending. Leg doesn't have to come straight at any point, just straighter as it extends. And then next time that leg comes up towards the sky, that's the inhale. And continue if you're on the floor or if you're on a chair. Otherwise, that's the inhale. And we're going to take it down, inhaling all the way up, exhaling. That heel can come anywhere close to the floor, but we're hovering. Stay here, or if you're on the floor and this is um, feeling comfortable for you, option to hover that left leg to add a little bit more challenge. You have another three wherever you are, or resting, keeping that breath steady and smooth. Next time, left foot comes down, and then we're gonna take that right leg down too. From here, left leg comes in, give it a little hug, a little flex in that foot, or a little ankle um, curl. Hands can come down beside you, in a cactus or a T, you get to choose. And then from here, we're cycling on the left side. Start small, just as much effort, just as much ease. Notice where it is that the tension is building, if it is. Generally in that hip flexor along the front of the left thigh, but doesn't necessarily mean that's where you feel it. If this is challenging for you, then keep it small. You can of course allow that leg to extend a little more. And if you want to challenge yourself uh, with that effort and ease, that right foot comes up off the floor and we're doing the same thing. You have another three wherever you are. Keep the movement as steady as you can, the breath smooth and steady. One more here, notice which direction you're going in. And then the right foot comes down, and we're going in the opposite direction. Option to stay here. Option to lift that right foot up as much or as little as you want. And then when you're ready, right foot comes down and we're extending and flexing. If you're on the chair, this is where you take the back of the leg and you're extending and flexing. That left leg does not have to come straight. And if you're on the chair, that's where you'll stay. If you're on the floor, this is the inhale, option to stay here. Exhaling, heel comes down towards the mat any amount. Practicing, playing with the breath, inhaling to a spot where there's tension, exhaling, finding softness. You can stay here. If you want to add challenge, then that right knee comes in for less stability. Effort and ease. Another two when you're ready. And then the knees come in. You can give yourself a little hug. Rock and roll from side to side. 
bringing the feet down to the floor. From here, coming into a soft twist, so feet go a little wider towards the mat. This is the inhale on the exhale, we're taking the knees to one side, opposite hip lifts a little, inhaling to center, exhaling the knees to the other side. Any SI joint issues, this is where you stay, keeping a very soft twist here. If you want to add on and it feels okay for you, you can take the knees all the way to one side, lifting the opposite hip, getting that length down the front across that hip flexor and through that side body and to the other side. And if one side feels very different from the other, no big deal. Please accommodate working with your body. And the last option is to take the gaze away from the knee. So we get the twist all the way up through the body. And then when you're ready, coming back to center, heel toeing the feet towards each other. If there's anything you want to do here to finish your practice, maybe draw your knees in, give yourself a little hug, anything if you're on the chair that feels great. Take happy baby, half happy baby if you're on the floor. And then from here, we're coming into relaxation. So as you get yourself settled, wherever you are, and you do not have to be on your back, you can be on your side, you can be on your belly, you can be on your bed, on your couch if that's more comfortable. I'm gonna again come up to seated to guide you. Finding yourself in as much comfort as you possibly can. Settling in. And if you need an extra layer, if you need to turn the lights out or take a sip of water or put an eye pillow on, you go ahead and do that. Otherwise, we're taking a full breath in. Exhale it out. Three more of those or take a big breath in. Hold at the top of your breath. Notice the tension in your body and soften through your muscles and joints. Keeping that, take another sip of breath. All the way up, hold once again. Notice the tension, soften the joints and muscles. Last sip of breath here, all the way in. And on that exhale, release the breath entirely. The breath comes back to its own natural rhythm, your rhythm. Allowing your body to settle in to its support. And by now, you may be a little more aware of certain areas in your body that hold tension. And the option is here to use the breath to release any kind of tension you find. So on that inhale, imagine that soft, easy breath being taken to a particular location in your body that feels tight or a little tense. Exhale, allow the exhale to soften and melt that tension around the edges. And keep the breath in that location for as many exhales as you need until you start to find ease. You may notice that with every exhale, you can allow yourself to release more and more. Every exhale is an opportunity to let go.
Releasing with every exhale. Notice if tension is building up in different areas and you can work with your breath to soften and release those areas. And you can stay here for as long as you like. And if you'd like to stay for longer, simply tune my voice out and focus on that breath softening and releasing with every exhale. And for those of you who would like to finish your practice, Simply notice your whole body here, your body as a whole from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands. And for the last moment here, if there's something you can do to find ease in your body, please go ahead. And then when you're ready, Start to simply notice your breath. Inhaling with a little more effort now to awaken. Exhale, maybe out through the mouth softly. Imagine drawing in that inhale as if you're drawing in more energy into your body, spreading it down to your fingers and toes, the crown of your head. On the inhale, so you start to awaken by feeling a little more energy coming in. And with that energy on that inhale, that effort, start to bring softness with movements into your fingers, your toes, your wrists and ankles. Maybe taking your head, rolling it from side to side, keeping it easy. When you're ready, starting to take bigger movements, whatever feels good for you. Stretching wide, long. Give yourself a hug, draw those knees in maybe. Windshield wiper the knees from side to side. And then when you're ready, making your way to a place where you would like to finish your practice or whatever that may be. Finding that support underneath you and rising from there. Hands in a gesture of closing. Take a breath in. Exhale, chin down towards your chest and give yourself one last opportunity to notice tension in your body. Take a big breath in. Exhale, soften and release some of that tension. Take a moment to thank yourself for your practice, for your attention, for your movement. Thank you for practicing with me today, from my heart to yours. Namaste.